All right, part two, sorry for that. There's a bit of a, a gap in my uh, iPad's battery. So I need to find the perimeter and area of a triangle, triangle with vertices of three, five, three, one, and zero, one. So I've got it plotted out here. The beautiful thing about these nice right triangles is that I can just count two of the sides. This is three, that's four. So I know what two of the sides are, but to find perimeter and area, I need to find that third side. So how do I find the third side of a right triangle? I can use a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or three squared plus four squared equals c squared, and that will get me five. So my perimeter is, 3 plus 4 plus 5, which is 12 units, and my area is going to be 1 half base times height. And you can switch the order around. The only important thing is that your base and your height had better be at a right angle. 3 and 4 make a right angle, so those are my base and height. This would be 6 square units. Same thing with our checkpoint down below. Let me zoom out a little bit. I wanna find my perimeter and area. So I would pause this video, try it on your own, and then unpause and check your work. I've got five and seven. I need to find my third side. <clears throat> so let's see, five squared plus seven squared equals C squared. C would be the square root of 74 which is about 8.6 units. So this is somewhere around 8.6 units. <clears throat> and if that's 8.6 units, then to find my perimeter, <clears throat> excuse me, perimeter, add up all those three parts. And to find your area, you would do one half base, and these are at a right angle, five and seven, times height, which would be 35 divided by two, or 17.5 square units. Let me know what questions you've got. This was all you had to do for homework this weekend, and I will see you back here for 3D figures on Tuesday.